Why? It's Sukh Mamai. I'm Jesse here. I'm down here at Okanagan Falls. I'm ready to go on uh, over some proper safety practices and protocols for all you Sichamela for when you come down to Salmon Camp this year. Got it? All right. Come with me. Check this out. Very important rule. Very important rule for being out here on the dam is to make sure that you keep your feet on the ground. There's this nice cement walkway in front of us. Keep your feet on the walkway. You can reach over and fish, reach over the fence, but you cannot stand on the fence itself. You have to stand on the ground. That's just the rules. You want to keep everybody really safe. So make sure you keep your feet on the ground at all times. You would not ever want to fall off this dam. It's very dangerous down there, but it's safe up here. We want to keep everybody safe. So Trenton, what are some important fishing practices out here? Um, well, right now they're not biting, so we're using snagging hooks. We use a big three prong hook with the weight on the bottom. So they're very hazardous, very big hooks, dangerous. They could do some serious damage if they got into you. So when we're practicing here, fishing here, we want to drop our hook in. And when it involves a snagging motion, right? So we want to be really mindful not to throw or pull our hook way out of the water. It could either hit yourself or a friend or a sukuma mayam. We don't want that, so we have to be very mindful of our surroundings the whole time. Here's quite quacking. He is trying to snag a salmon right here. Watch the technique as he lowers the snagging hook into the water. Oh. So close. So Trenton, what do you know about this spot? I know that this was a spot traditionally used by the Okanagan people to harvest their salmon. Back when they didn't have a dam, there was an actual falls here, hence the name OK Falls. And people from all over our Okanagan nation, from Vernon, from down south, Karameas, all the surrounding nations of the Okanagan one, they'd all come here fish for salmon and it's a really nice thing that brings the whole nation and people together. Oh, did not take very long. Look at that. He lumped them right into the cooler. Fast touch school so for my And now Trenton's going to demonstrate some safe practices for being out on the dam. So we want to make sure we keep both of our feet at all times on the cement surface or on here. We don't want to be stepping up on here or up here. That is a no-no. That is not allowed here. That's hazardous, okay? I want to keep it safe. That's a nice one, man. Oh! So we're both looking forward to a really awesome salmon camp this week. We just wanted to go over a couple of things that you, Sitchamela, can bring to the camp. 
So one thing I would bring, which I forgot today, is a quachkin, a hat. It could be sunny out and we'll be out here for a bit, so protect your face, wear a quachkin. Sunglasses, sunscreen, it could be a really warm day too. Wednesday's supposed to maybe have a little bit of rain, so bring a jacket if you're worried about some rain. Uh, but make sure that you come dressed, ready to catch some fish and muck around in the mud and everything else. A um, bottle of water as well, and I'd say wear some clothes, like shoes. You don't want open-toed shoes or sandals because there's going to be hooks around, okay? Absolutely, and we'll be catching fish like Mike Black and is right now. Woo. But bring some snacks, a uh, bottle of water like Superman said, good shoes, and if you got your own fishing gear that's strong enough to haul in a salmon, you're welcome to bring that as well. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Right.